Many people often ask, you know, what is behind this buzzword, big data? And I see big data as a challenge. It wasn't possible with traditional computing. And that's a very simple answer. And the way we typically like to break down problems is, is looking at individual components. So in IBM, we see, we, see, we see four areas. And personally, I see three characteristics. And I'll talk about the, 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 the fourth area uh, last. So the first characteristic is probably the easiest one to understand for big data, and that is volume. Data that's simply huge. It could be hundreds of terabytes of, 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 of telco logs, or of, uh, or of smart meter logs, or maybe of uh, financial transactions that are flowing through different systems, a variety of things. And again, one of the, I mean, one of the, and one of the challenges that we see with big data is that, that as all this information comes in because of instrumentation, of how everything's connected, we're able, and because storage is so cheap, we're able to store so much of this stuff, and so volume can be a very significant problem. A traditional database could not process 100 terabytes of data or even a petabyte of data. And increasingly, we're seeing more and more businesses with data at that scale where there's potential value. So the second V is velocity. And velocity is simply how fast data enters your organization. And in many cases, there's value in that information only for a very short window of time. So we have, we have uh, in, in our big data platform, we have a streaming data engine which can actually analyze the information while it's flowing to maximize business uh, potential. The third characteristic of big data is variety. And variety really defines the structure that the data is in. Normal uh, traditional computing, such as uh, data warehousing or relational databases, relied on data being in very specific structures so that a, a date column had a date value in a very specific form. A, a salary column had a decimal number. A name column had a, a character string. And as the data was entered into the database, it, it, the system validated that those data types were exactly what they were. So we call that highly structured data. And computers are very good at dealing, highly, at dealing with highly structured data. But the problem is that only 20%, roughly, of all the information in the world or in organizations and businesses is in that nicely structured format. There's a tremendous amount of data that's being generated now that has potential business value that doesn't fit into those nice structures, such as audio files, maybe of recordings uh, from call center for, for quality purposes. Or maybe if the call center operator maybe took some notes and, and wrote down you know, how a customer felt about a particular product or a service engagement. Those are, I mean, while one is audio in, in a binary format and the other is text or just a written text, those, both those aren't nicely structured. And it's very difficult, at least with or if not impossible, with traditional computing to analyze those, and especially to analyze those at scale, uh, if, if to look back at the volume question, or if that information is flowing at you very quickly, thinking back to variety. So we often see a combination of those, those three main Vs that, that define what big data is. Now in IBM we have a fourth V called veracity. And veracity really uh, seeks to answer the question of can we trust this data? Do we know where it came from? Do we know what the potential purposes of this data is and, and, and where this data ultimately will go and the impact it will have on our business? And really that comes down to questions relating to information governance or data governance. Governance doesn't start with a V so we use the word veracity. But all the same, this is a these are very important questions. And not just for big data, but, but for any data. Even for relational databases, the, this veracity question is important. And that's why in IBM, we really seek to, to emphasize that fourth V of veracity, because for, for all your data, you need a complete story to determine you know, what your governance, your governance strategy is. When it comes to the, the next generation of analytics, it's really how can we take advantage of the 80% the of data that isn't structured, that can't fit into a warehouse, and that databases tr or traditional analytic tools couldn't take advantage of. Or for instance, for data that's flowing at us at very large speeds, we call that, ver we call that velocity. How can we take advantage of that data to, to really look at, at information in, in, at the moment it hits our organization and then we, we have an opportunity potentially to, to leverage that in a very short time window, such as with the stock market. As trading information comes in, a market inefficiency will only be there for, for perhaps even less than a second. So if it's your business that wants to take advantage of that, you need a streaming data engine that can analyze information while it's moving as it hits you. Because normal, normal processing really relied on information hitting your organization. You'd validate it, you'd clean it up, you'd throw it in your warehouse. That could take an hour, a day, a week, depending on how your batches are done. 
but that potential opportunity by the time you entered in your warehouse is gone. It's history. There's no, you no longer have a chance to really take advantage of that, that opportunity.